Right, this is the mechanical flow plater. Okay, you have, if you remember, this is your uh, coagulation process. You add chemicals inside there, then you have a stirrer there. So you see, they have a mechanical uh, coagulation process. So it will then follow with the uh, hydraulic, uh, sorry, hydraulic. Okay, we, it will follow with the mechanical flock later. Okay, so this is the mechanical flock later. So you have a long thing. Okay, this long thing is called a shaft. Okay? I probably have to draw a diagram, so I need to pause my recording. Before we continue further on the mechanical flock later, so I would like to explain or to introduce you with the component of um, mechanical flocculator. Okay, you can see several parts of the mechanical flocculator. So the first thing that I would like to introduce you is this thing. Okay, and this long thing is called as shaft. A shaft. And a set of all this, okay, a set of all this, we call it as a paddle, okay? So in this paddle, it has four plates or blades. So these are the components that you need to know in mechanical flock later. It's the shaft, the paddle, you know, one set of paddle has several numbers of blades or plates okay and these are the plates right so that's basically that you need to know okay so for this uh, example of mechanical flock later you can see uh, this is the uh, the shaft and then this is one set of paddle the second set of paddle and the third set of paddle okay so in Different pedals, they have different blades. Let's say for one, and the first example, okay, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have in the first pedal has uh, eight blades or plates. The second pedal has uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six blades or plates. And the third pedal has four blades or plates, okay? So this is a mechanical flow creator, and we have another type of mechanical flow creator. You see in this mechanical flock creator, they purposely put a barrier here. Can you see? Okay, a barrier here. A barrier, a barrier, a barrier. Okay? An obstacle, if you like. Why do they have to put the, this obstacle? It's just to force the water to travel from one pedal to another pedal. Imagine if they don't have these uh, obstacles or these um, barriers. So the water can straight away uh, go from here to there. It's very simple. So you see, this is what we call as short circuiting. They can just bypass uh, the pedals. They don't have to follow uh, to go through one pedal to another pedal to another pedal to another pedal. So if the short circuiting happen, that means the time is very small. So you may not be able to produce a very nice cam number because of your T is just too small. Okay. So that is the weaknesses or the disadvantage of mechanical flock later. So I have a, uh, a real diagram, a real picture of mechanical flock later. So this is the another mechanical flock later. They have this shaft and then they have one pedal and the pedal will be rotating, okay? And they have plates, okay? So this is the plates. Huh? We have one plate, two plates. And also another kind of uh, picture of mechanical flock later. So this is the the what is this this is the uh, the shaft and we have one pedal and two pedals and each pedal have the same has uh, has the same number of blades and plates okay so these are plates and blades i hope that is clear for you uh, to differentiate between shaft pedals and also blades or plates so these are the advantages so you just read through Flexibility and control, which is quite straightforward, I think. Reduction in the amount of chemical use, of course, when you have flexibility, so you can always uh, reduce the, the chemical use. Okay. The next one on the advantage of mechanical flocculation is le less heat loss. Okay, if you compare to the 
hydraulic hydraulic mechanical uh, i'm sorry hydraulic flocculator has greater head loss due to the friction uh, occurring between the water traveling in the flocculation in the flocculator with the buffers okay and then obviously if you have uh, flexibility and control that means you can control the amount of chemicals that you want to use definitely you'll be able to form better flocks uh, compared to the um, hydraulic flocculator okay so the disadvantages the first one is the low velocity around the shaft so having low velocity around the shaft uh, making that any water along the, uh, the shaft okay around the shaft if you like don't really experience the stirring effect okay that means not very many you know opportunity for the particles to collide to each other that means they will not be able to form you know better flocks around the shaft okay i'm not talking about at the pedals but uh, uh, along the shaft if you like right and then dead spaces in corners and possibility of short circuiting i think i've explained already you know if you don't put the uh, obstacles or the barriers in the uh, mechanical flocculator then there will be short circuiting occurring and when it comes to the another adv disadvantages high operation and maintenance cost maintaining cost which is quite uh, apparent you, so it's cost of the electricity and then you can see the uh, mechanical flocculator rotating in the water so you know you need to maintain that blades or paddles or the mechanical flocculators itself so i think so those are the advantages and disadvantages of the mechanical flocculator Thank you.